The 2022 model year will go down as one of the most exciting in motorcycle history. Sneak peeks of 2022 models started in late 2015 and continued steadily throughout 2016, with at least 100 all-new or significantly updated motorcycles announced by 13 different manufacturers everything from state-of-the-art, high-tech sport bikes to retro-style bobbers, cafe racers, and scramblers, and all shapes, sizes, and horsepower ratings. Here are the 10 coolest. Hello, welcome to another video. Before diving into the video, my request to you all please subscribe my channel as well as my Facebook page. Thank you. Let's dig in. 10. BMW R90 Urban G S BMW's highly customizable R90 Retro Roadster, which was introduced for 2014 and has been updated for 2017, is a really cool bike. And its spin-off models, such as the Pure, Racer and Scrambler are cooler still. But to our eyes and in our hearts, the coolest of 90 of them all is the new Urban G S, and homage to the original R80 G per S that launched the adventure bike movement. 9. Ducati 1299 Superleggera Superleggera means super lightweight in Italian, and Ducati ain't blowing smoke. The 1299 Superleggera is the first factory bike to be built with a carbon fiber frame, subframe, swing arm, wheels, and bodywork. Claimed wet weight full of gas and ready to ride is just 368 pounds. And the 1,285 cubic centimeter Super Quadro L Twin has been tweaked and tuned to crank out 215 horsepower. Only 500 will be made, and one can be yours for $80,000. 8. Harley-Davidson Milwaukee 8 When Harley-Davidson unveiled the Milwaukee 8 Big Twin last summer, it was the biggest announcement from the motor company in two decades. The all-new 8-valve, single-cam V-twin, available in oil-cooled 107ci, 1,750 cubic centimeters, liquid-cooled 107ci, and liquid-cooled 114ci, 1,870 cubic centimeters, configurations, makes more torque, runs smoother and cooler, has a richer exhaust note, thanks to less mechanical noise, and fits more riders by virtue of being more compact. Combined with new Showa suspension and unmistakable Harley style, the 2017 Touring lineup is the best and coolest yet. 7. Honda CRF 250L Rally The most common complaints with ADV bikes are that they're too big, too heavy and too expensive. Honda has the answer with the new CRF 250L Rally, which is styling inspired by the CRF 450 Rally that Team HRC races in the Dakar. Based on the updated for 2017 CRF 250L, the Rally is powered by a liquid-cooled, fuel-injected 250 cubic centimeters single, it weighs 342 pounds ready to ride, claimed and it costs $5,899, or $6,199 with ABS, which adds 4 pounds. With a 21-inch front wheel and 10.3 inches of rear suspension travel, front travel is TBD, you can go pretty much anywhere, as long as you can deal with the 35.2-inch seat height. Do more with less and have a ball. 6. KTM 1290 Super Ducar Nicknamed the Beast, KTM's 1290 Super Duke car is a whole lot of motorcycle. For 2017, its 1,301 cubic centimeters V-twin makes acclaimed 177 horsepower, with smoother low RPM response and a broader power band. It also gets updated WP suspension, motorcycle stability control with cornering ABS, new styling, cruise control, TFT instrumentation, Metzeler M7RR Supersport tires and new options like Quickshifter, which allows clutchless upshifts and downshifts, and the track pack, with additional riding modes, launch control, and more. 5. Kawasaki vs. X300 Intrigued by a small displacement adventure bike, but not ready to commit to an extra tall, dirt-oriented bike like the Honda CRF 250L Rally? Kawasaki's new Versus X300 may be the answer. 
This downsized version of the popular Versus 650 and Versus 1000 LT, Riders 2015 Motorcycle of the Year, is powered by the liquid-cooled, fuel-injected 296 cubic centimeters parallel twin from the Ninja 300. It has spoke wheels, 19-inch front, 17-inch rear, available ABS and what Kawasaki says is a low seat height and long travel suspension, for Moto Guzzi V73 Anniversario. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of its V7 line, Moto Guzzi will build just 750 units of the limited edition V73 Anniversario. Featuring all of the third generation updates found on the V73 Racer, Special and Stone, the Anniversario stands apart with its chrome gas tank, brown leather saddle, billet fuel cap and steering yoke risers, with laser etched serial number, brushed aluminum fenders, chrome passenger grab handle, fork protectors and spoke wheels with polished rims and gray hubs. 3. Suzuki SV650 The original 1999 Suzuki SV650 was a huge hit of light, nimble, affordable bike powered by a feisty, 645 cubic centimeters V-twin. It was an ideal commuter, a playful canyon carver, and a reliable platform for club racing, but after several model updates its performance and styling went from exciting to boring. With the revival of middleweight naked bikes, particularly the Yamaha FZ07, Suzuki brought back the SV650 with an updated engine, styling more like the original and an attractive price tag. We fell in love with it all over again. 2. Triumph Bonneville Bobber After rolling out an all-new, five-model Bonneville platform for 2016 and winning Riders 2016 Motorcycle of the Year Award for the Bonneville T120 Slash Black Triumph is expanding the lineup for 2017 with some very cool bikes, including the T100 Slash Black Street Cup, Street Scrambler and the Gorgeous Bobber, which features a liquid cool, 1,200 cubic centimeters high torque parallel twin, a hardtail look and an adjustable solo seat. 1. Victory Octane Yes, the Octane is based on the Indian Scout platform, Victory and Indian are both owned by Polaris Industries, with 35% of the parts shared between the two bikes. But the Scout is a kick-ass cruiser powered by a liquid cool, 1,133 cubic centimeters, 69 CI, 60 degree V-twin with DOHC and four valves per cylinder that makes 100 horsepower and 72 LB Ford of torque claimed at the crank. With a bigger bore and new pistons, cylinder heads and camshafts, the Octane makes 104 horsepower and 76 LB Ford of torque. It's an aggressively styled power cruiser that weighs just 528 pounds dry and costs only $10,499. If that's not cool, we don't know what is. That's all for today's video. Please end and share thank you.